and we're back for another episode. In this episode, we're going to be unlocking all the Aether Currents in Lakeland. And as always, hello from Ifri. So um, what I'm going to quickly do is I'm going to go through all of the individual locations and show where all the quests are. I recommend to do this once you finish the main scenario quest, Logistics of War. The good way to know when to unlock Aether Currents in a zone is when a main story quest gives you an Aether Current. That's an indication that that zone is ready to be unlocked fully. Okay, so once we get to the first location, we will continue. Okay, so we are here in the Hostel Imperative at uh, 716. You can see the Aetherite is right there. What we need to do, run up this massive ramp of this really tall structure. So, run up here. Then circle round and run up the next one. And then from here, this level, you want to turn right, go through this gap here. And then it's right there. So you can see it right there. So you, you need to jump off and you can get it. And don't worry about leaving this structure. You don't have fall damage. You don't die, sorry, from fall damage unless you're in combat. And it's impossible to be in combat in this area. So once we get to the next location, we will continue. Okay, we've now made it here to um, 1817. Um, so it's in the open area. You can easily get to it. Um, and you just have to simply climb up this ramp right here. Circle round, and then you can drop down and get the A for current. So there we go. Done. Easy. Done. So once we get to the next location, we will continue. Okay, so we've made it here now to uh, 3311 on the main road heading towards the north. Now you'll see this little gap in this hill so just simply run up it take a right and there you go it's right there and there's loads of mobs around so beware these are like the gremlins in the trailer okay so let's get it okay once we get to the next location we will continue Okay, so we've made it here to um, 3328, which you can see Crystarium entrance is right there. What you want to do, take this staircase to the right. You have a bunch of different stairs around here, but this is the one you want to the right. You can pretty much get this like when you first get into Shadowbringers, to be honest. Go up these stairs, and the Aether Current is right there. So let's get it. Okay. So, once we get to the next location, we will continue. Okay, so we are here at the Ostol Imperative um, at 7.14. And uh, you need to talk to uh, Tiana. And the quest is called an Unreasonable Request, which will also give us an Aether Current. So you can see that the Aether Current is right there. Just run up this ramp and you get here. So once this quest is done and we get to the next location, we will continue. Okay, so we are here in the Ostol Imperative at 8.17. This one is a quest-related one. So you can see this quest, the Astute Armoro, will give us an Aether Current. So once it's done, and once we get to the next location, we will continue. Okay, so we are here in the Ostol Imperative at uh, basically 6.15. And we need to talk to Cynard. So you can see that the Aether Current is just there. It's just up the ramp uh, to the north. So the quest he has is called Imperative Repairs, which will give us an Aether Current. Okay. So once we have finished that quest and we get to the next location, we will continue. Okay, so for the last quest we need to do, we're actually in the Crystarium. This might be a bit where people get stuck. So you need to come to the Pendants, and you need to uh, go around this way, 
and then go through this door right here. And then talk to Heggy. And the quest is called A Job Well Done. So once we get the quest uh, nearly done and we're about to turn it in on Onok Flying, then we will continue. Okay, so we're pretty much done with this quest, so let's turn it in. So this quest basically involved um, getting food from his mother and then distributing shares of the food to the guards in this fort, which I thought was pretty cool. I thought it was sweet. So complete, done, and we can now fly in Lakeland. There you go, a for current achievement complete. Oh boy, so all of it is done. So as I said uh, before, I do recommend to do this after you've um, unlocked the main story A for Right. Um, then you can um, do them all at once and you can refer to my guides. I do have A for Current guides for every zone so far and I am intending to do them all for Shadowbringers as well. And uh, one thing I would recommend now that I've unlocked flying, one thing I'd recommend when you get to this point is completely uncover the map because you will get a good amount of experience points for each one of these little areas you uncover. I think at the moment I'm getting like 50 plus K every time I unlock a little, little bit of the map. So I'll do them all. Um, and it's up to you if you want to then also start uh, fake grinding. So um, anyway, guys, that's it for this episode. If you liked it, be sure to give it a thumbs up. You can watch a random video over there. You can watch the latest upload down there. Or you can click down here to subscribe. Thank you, guys. Bye-bye.